Well, hi everyone, Mr. Miles here out on the West Coast. As you can see, I'm coming to you from the office today. Uh, just a very quick video of what uh, I've got coming up. A little bit of uh, info on what's been happening over the last couple of weeks. I've had a hell of a time. Um, you can probably tell I'm recovering from a bit of a flu, cold or flu or whatever it is. Injured my finger uh, as well. And this has actually stimulated this video in a roundabout way. Maybe I'll elaborate on that later, but um, for now, this just provided the stimulus for my next project, and this should give you a clue. It involves uh, fire brick, so I do have another forge build on the go. I've been able to design this forge build on the computer. Now, I usually do sketch stuff up on the computer, and there is a little video of how I design my knives on the computer, so I'll sort of stick that up in the card there. Uh, for anyone that wants to go and have a look at that, I do have a video about it. But um, I decided I want to build myself an electric forge. So if I'm going to build an electric forge, I might as well build one that's good enough to heat treat uh, stainless steel knives as well. Something I haven't done this far. So in this particular case, I was able to spend quite a lot of time refining the process and drawing it and redrawing it and really thinking it through and planning it properly. So I've come up with a whole plan, I've come up with a a pricing schedule, an inventory list, and I can share all that with you if you like. I've even done an electric schematic of how I'm going to wire this thing up. I got onto the old uh, Google machine and ordered a few parts. They're still in transit apparently, and one, no doubt, is going to be a long time coming. That's from AliSlow, or AliExpress as they prefer to be called. Before I get onto that, let me show you in a bit more detail on the screen of what I've done so far. Okay, hopefully this comes out okay. Um, and I just noticed I got another subscriber, it must have been last night. And by the way, before I before I go too far, I really appreciate those recent subscri all subscribers actually, but in the last few weeks I've had quite a few subscribers and I absolutely fantastic and I really appreciate the support. If I zoom out, it gives you an idea of what I've been designing. So Here's all the uh, uh, iterations and designs and redesigns. Actually, it's even this is only part of it. I've cleaned it up quite a lot. But now if I zoom into this one, this is probably the easiest one to show you. This is how I started off. But after a lot of research, I realized I can get away with putting the bricks up this way. So I went through several other redesigns. You can see here that um, this one had two bricks upright these going through the middle and then this going across and then all I did was cut this one down um, place this one on top and then I needed to have this uh, one cut on the top that's a bit closer to what I originally want and that's obviously how I'm going to build the door it will still be how I'm going to build the door but even this one is still not quite the right size and you can see here I've got a various different types of door handles on there um, let's see if I can get in a bit closer, that's just like a normal shed lat. You can see here all types of different ways that I thought about doing it. This is the one that I think I'm going with. It's like a shed lat, but then I can put a handle on it and then I can just use that as the handle and the locking mechanism in one. I uh, started to look at hinging it and so eventually I've come to this design. So here's a closer look at it. You can now see that I've got this base on it which is where I'm going to have all the electrics. Um, the bottom half and the top half are going to be in two pieces but the reason I want to make this as two separate units is because I just want to place this top section on the bottom section just by location pins. I don't want to physically fix it because this is going to be heavy enough to sit on a bench and it will just sit there happily. If ever I need to take the whole thing apart and make repairs on it, I can then pull the back case off, I can get to the wiring, lift the top off and then I can just do what I've got to do and put it all back together and so that's why I want to do it that way. So this framework will all be welded together but, but then this back plate will keep it all together. Now getting on to the electrics you can see here that I even had time to do a sort of schematic of where all the wiring's going. So here's are the coils, 
that's the thermocouple that I've drawn at the top at the time but it will be going at the back as I say I can show you the base here the PID controller, the on off switch and then I've got the wiring as to where it all goes let me tell you, I'm not an electrician uh, so don't copy me thinking it's going to be the best idea I haven't even tried it yet I will be putting the fire bricks together first and then roughly hooking all this up uh, it's sort of partially in situ so that I can see if the whole thing works pretty well before I put it in uh, the, the base box and so on right but uh, I've done a fair bit of research online and this seems to be um, how to wire it up through a switch which gives you a bit more control and you can see the main power coming in here the relay, the heat sink, the PID and the on off switch uh, and the coils and obviously this is camphor wire terminal connector strip that's yeah that's just another connector um, then some paint and the heavy, heavy duty thermocouple so here it is I will be building part of the top section then I will be building the base then I go back to the top section finish it in off the door and all that so honestly I, what I'll try to do is make sub 10 excuse me sub 10 minute videos for each each part and let's try and aim for a maximum of four part video so perhaps I can elaborate a little bit more on what happened here and what stimulated this video for me to build an electric forge um, I've been creating a video it's going to be called um, Hamon making misadventures because I've never done a Hamon on a knife before but I've got what I believe to be a a valid idea of something different to create a hormone that I've never seen anyone do. It enabled me to, um, it, it required me I should say, to follow certain principles of hormone making and it, it went wrong. I got the temperature of the gas forge up way too high. Um, Part of the problem of that is I didn't trust the PID controllers controlling it. I, I always think it's not quite hot enough. I made it way too hot. I had an accident with the oil. I was stressed from the heat coming off the forge. And the whole thing was a little bit out of control. And it turned out that I took a shortcut. I didn't wear my heavy duty gloves. I only wore some light duty gloves and I got really badly burnt on this finger a little bit on that one that's okay but what I'm getting at it was quite a it was quite an environment that was when I think about it, it was really out of control and I was just not taking enough care <laughs> and um, after looking at a few videos and watching other people and people using um, electric forges uh, kilns, forges. Um, it looks to me like their environment seems to be so much tidier, so much in control. Uh, you're not burning your face off. You, every time you go check the knife or anything, you just got this roaring flames coming out. It is just, it is just awful. And so, I just think part of me being a lot more careful this year because I also had a burn on the oil. Um, on my leg, I backed into the oil can when I was trying to shut the gas off on the f on the forge, and uh, was a bit wary of the heat of that. And yeah, it just I it splashed up onto my leg. Now that wasn't a super bad burn, but it was bad enough for me to be suffering for a few weeks. So yeah, I've looked been a bit stupid, not really very safe. And so this year, my um, theme of this year is going to try and be safety first. I do wear masks and gloves as much as I can and goggles and that but I'm going to try and uh, invest in some good PPE gear this year, not scrimp on that and uh, get this uh, electric forge up and running and then have a much better year of knife making. So from me in Perth to uh, wherever you are in the world maybe I'll see you on the first part of this uh, electric forge
build. But it depends how my finger heals up, depends how my cog gets better. I'm pretty much on the mend with that, so. But sorry for all the jibber jabber, but I didn't have another video that I could upload. I hadn't got anything completed. So I thought I'd just share that initial part of the uh, forge build with you. So I'll see you very soon.